Hey, I'm Justin Fraction. As you know, if you've been watching this channel for any amount of time. Uh, and today we are going to have the 10 greatest college football teams that inexplicably didn't win a net. Well, that's a title. That's a mouthful that inexplicably didn't win a national championship, he says, as he looks at the teleprompter. Uh, but, you know, since we're doing things a little differently, you know, let me tell you a story. 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 Yo, yo, check one, check two. Yo, here we go. Don't have no content for this TPS soup, and so I'm gonna go and draft a dope rap while I'm talking. See, my story started a long time ago when I was working for the ABC Sports College Sports Show. Started out my day taping down cables on the sidelines for my afternoons running up and down the guidelines. My first game, I got hit in the back of the head with a full can of Coke, because I'm pretty fans tried to kill me dead. Got ran over by a truck while doing my job. They thought that would stop me, but I was still cruising through my job. Sorry, Purdue fans. Yo, what can I say? Gotta stand in there at lunch and time it I have anyway. Yo, word to your mother. Do people still say that? I don't know. Back to the video. When you get run over by a car, you just gotta keep on going. Because that's not really a good, that's not a good moral to that, is it? No. Anyways, Total Pro Sports presents the 10 greatest college football teams that inexplicably didn't win a national championship. And a big shout out to Taylor Poirier. I I'm so sorry, Taylor, if I don't pronounce your name correctly. I'm gonna write, it's gonna be written down here at the bottom of the screen. I'm so sorry. It's like whenever I have to do hockey videos, I'm like, what the hell is this guy's name? Like, I don't know what they are. Thank you for suggesting this list. We really appreciate it. If you have any ideas for the lists, remember I invented that term just recently in another, in another video. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. You never know, we might use them and give you a shout out. 2016 Alabama Crimson Tide. Looking to defend their national championship, Alabama looked as dominant as ever under head coach Nick Saban. They held opponents to just 13 points per game. Alabama also beat teams by an average of 25.8 points per game. Running back Damian Harris quietly helped Crimson Tide fans forget who Derrick Henry was too. Alabama faced Clemson in the national championship game. With one second left, Deshaun Watson hit Hunter Renfro in the end zone and Clemson won 35-31. On the bright side, at least the rest of America was able to rejoice after seeing Alabama lose. 1985 Michigan Wolverines The Wolverines were quarterbacked by Jim Harbaugh, and they also had star running back Jamie Morris. Two defensive players were All-Americans, and Michigan's defense allowed just 6.8 points per game. You heard that right. Michigan finished with an 11-1-1 one record. However, they never got to appear in the national championship game. Instead, they had to settle on a Fiesta Bowl victory over Nebraska, the number two ranking in the final poll. Better than nothing, we suppose. 2011 LSU Tigers. This was truly a dream team. Look at the list of players in the Tigers that turned pro in the NFL. Pretty good, eh? They scored a whopping 35.7 points per game while allowing just 11.3 per contest. LSU faced Alabama in the national championship game and looked poised to cap off his legendary season. Except they didn't. As usual, Alabama reigned supreme and shut out the Tigers 21 to nothing. 2005 USC Trojans. Everything was there for folks to make a movie about how great USC was. They were defending champions and formed one great product. Pete Carroll returned as head coach, mastermind Lane Kiffin ran the offense, and oh, NFL draft busts Matt Leinart and Reggie Bush were still two elite college stars. USC crushed opponents by 26.3 points per game. The Trojans went untouched and undefeated through the regular season and faced Vince Young's Texas Longhorns in the national championship game. In one of the greatest college football games ever, Young scored a nine-yard rushing TD in the final seconds, and Texas won 41-38. For USC, their chance to be remembered as the greatest team ever slipped away in the final moments. 2002 Miami Hurricanes The Hurricanes really rocked their opponents like a hurricane. Many of their players became NFL stars, including wide receiver Andre Johnson and safety Sean Taylor, among others. Led by head coach Larry Coker, Miami finished the season with a perfect 12-0 record, punching their ticket to the Fiesta Bowl where they'd take on Ohio State. Miami lost that game 31-24. Oh well. They won the Orange Bowl the following year. That counts for something, right? 2008 Texas Longhorns. You look at their roster and wonder how Texas was really good. I mean, kicker Justin Tucker is probably the best NFL player from the squad, but that's beside the point. The 2008 Longhorns are really, really good. Like as good as their 2005 championship team, almost. 
Texas scored 42.4 points per game, but a road loss to the sixth-ranked Texas Tech crushed their chances of being in the national championship. Texas finished with a 12-1 record and defeated Ohio State to win the Fiesta Bowl. Still, this team was good enough to win the national title. That one loss put them on our list instead of the list of national championships. 1981 Penn State Nittany Lions Coached by Joe Paterno, the 1981 Penn State squad was really among the very best teams ever seen. None of their players made it to the NFL, and they finished with an excellent 10-2 record. The losses to Miami and Alabama were the ultimate blows to their national championship hopes. Penn State would rank third in the final coaches and AP polls. They defeated USC in the Fiesta Bowl, but never got the chance to fight for the national title. Pity, because they really were something else in 1981. The 1980 Pittsburgh Panthers with 12 players being drafted into the NFL, it's no surprise that the 1980 Panthers were so dominant. They were led by star defensive end Hugh Green, who won three awards after an incredible season. And oh, quarterback Dan Marino was pretty darn good too. Never heard of him. Pittsburgh finished with an 11-1 record. Many think they were among the absolute greatest teams ever. The New York Times and College Football Researchers Association even named them the national champions. However, the 12-0 Clemson Tigers were crowned the national champions, while the Panthers settled for a Gator Bowl victory over South Carolina instead. 1994 Penn State Nittany Lions Seriously, how? How did they not get the chance to win the championship? Penn State scored an incredible 47 points per game, and Joe Paterno's crew once again looked like the best of the very best. The Nittany Lions even beat opponents by an average of 26 points per game. They finished with a perfect 12-0 record, finishing second in coaching and AP polls. Yet Penn State never got the invite for the national championship, and it remains a controversy to this day. They then faced Oregon in the Rose Bowl and crushed them by 18 points, statement victory. But they totally got robbed of the national title. 1980 Nebraska Cornhuskers the great Tom Osborne coached a staff that saw 23 players make it to the NFL, including three-time Super Bowl champion running back Roger Craig. Nebraska allowed just 9.2 points per game while scoring 39.2 points per contest of their own. It was just a cakewalk of a season for them, minus those two losses to Florida State and Oklahoma. The two losses doomed Minnesota, who finished seventh in the rankings and didn't get to buy for the national title. Instead, they faced Mississippi for the Sun Bowl, which Nebraska won with ease. What other great college football teams didn't win the national championship? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below. If you liked the video, then like the video. We'd really appreciate it. If you're not subscribed yet, now's a great time to do that for more cool videos every single day. And until next time, tune into Total Pro Sports for videos once or twice a day. I think twice. Isn't that what we do? Yeah. Okay. Rock on. And we'll see you guys next time.